In this video, we are gonna be making a creamy, dreamy pumpkin pasta, and we are gonna to top it with a delicious sage breadcrumb mixture, which makes it taste so amazing. So let's get started. I'll show you how to make this. We are just gonna make a toasted breadcrumb topping that's gonna to take it up to that next level. So first thing we're gonna add is a couple tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. And this is to a pan on medium heat. Then we're gonna add in one cup of breadcrumbs. You can make your own breadcrumbs, but I just have some panko breadcrumbs here. So I'm gonna add those right into that heated up olive oil. And I'm gonna add a few sage leaves to the mix as well. Now I have some dried sage here. About eight sage leaves. They can be dried or fresh. All right, I'm just gonna keep toasting these breadcrumbs in the pan. Just keep moving them around until we get them nice and golden. You don't wanna to wait too long with these. You don't wanna overcook them. We just want them lightly toasted, lightly golden brown. This is gonna make the perfect topping. And we are just gonna season that with a little bit of salt and pepper. Give that a nice mix and set it aside. Perfect. All right, so we're gonna start by bringing a large pot of water to a boil. Make sure you salt that because we're gonna be cooking our pasta in there. Now, I have one box of pasta. I have spaghetti, any kind will work. And that's about 500 grams. So just one standard box of pasta. And we're gonna add those noodles in and start cooking them up. Okay, so we are gonna start with about one to two tablespoons of vegan butter right here in a pan on medium heat. Just melt that down. And then we are gonna add in a quarter cup of fresh sage. Now my sage leaves are dried, but you do want whole leaves. So we're gonna add those right into the pan with the butter. You can even put a few more in there. We're just gonna cook those until they're nice and fragrant. This only takes a minute or two. Okay, now I'm just gonna grab those sage leaves off the pan and place them off to the side. Those are gonna be our topping for later. We're using the same pan that's still on medium heat there and we're gonna add in about four cloves of minced garlic. And we're just gonna cook that around for about 30 seconds. If you need to add a little bit more vegan butter or some extra virgin olive oil, you can do so. But I still had enough leftover vegan butter that I was able to just cook it like this. Next, we're gonna add in one cup of pumpkin puree. I just got mine out of the can to keep it simple and easy. We're gonna add in three quarters cup of vegan cream or coconut milk. And I'm gonna add in three tablespoons of tomato paste. Gonna add some hot chili flakes to taste. All right, our pasta is just about cooked and we want to save some of that precious pasta reserve water so we can add it into our sauce if needed later on. Now we have our cooked pasta. We're gonna add that right in. A little bit of that pasta reserve water. Let's just mix that pasta sauce all around looking so creamy and beautiful wow sometimes i use the tongs when the pasta is a lot for the dish i'm using i just find it makes it a little bit easier make sure the noodles are al dente so they're not falling apart while you're doing this look at that next we're going to add in a third cup of vegan parm or parmesan cheese now we're going to season with salt and pepper to taste. Now you want to make sure that you are topping each plate individually fresh with those breadcrumbs because you want them to be super nice and crispy so when you're ready to serve you can spoon on about two tablespoons of that on top. Now stay tuned for the taste test. I've already had a few bites. Hmm. Chef's kiss. Definitely recommend this for fall. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked this video and you want to see more like this, just make sure you hit that like and subscribe button below.